Hi! Today we are going to learn how to track user location trails and routes on the map. CM Map Locations allows you and your users to create and showcase locations in Google Maps, including images and nodes for each. It also allows you to track user locations. The CM Send User Location add-on helps you to create and configure a button that adds track user locations on a map. Important. The plugin does not continuously track the user's movements in real time. It only tracks the location when the user sends the coordinates of his current position. We recommend you to configure the base plugin first, as in this example use case video we will consider only configuring the track user location feature. In result, we will send a few locations that we visit and there will be displayed a route on the map. First, you need to generate REST API key. To do this, navigate to CM Map Locations Pro, Settings, Setup tab. Under the Location REST API section, turn on the option Enable REST API and click the button Generate key. Copy the key that appeared and don't forget to click the button Save. Then navigate to CM Send User Location. Under the General tab, include the key you just generated to the field API key and the server address attached to it to the field Server Address. Also, choose if you want to include the name field and the description field near the button or not, using corresponding options. Under the Google Maps section, you can configure adding temporary locations. Enable Google Map. Enabling this option can solve some conflicts with other plugins or themes that also include the Google Maps API on each page, like GeoDirectory. Google Maps App Key. Here you need to enter the Google Maps Server App Key. To get it, click on the link and follow the instructions provided by the Google service. Disable Embedding Google Maps JS API Enabling this option can solve some conflicts with other plugins or themes that also include the Google Maps API on each page. Default Locations Latitude Enter the latitude of the default location shown in the editor. Default Locations Longitude Enter the longitude of the default location shown in the editor. Default Zoom Choose default value of zooming in the editor. Greater number means closer zooming. When you finish configuring the add-on, don't forget to save the changes by clicking the button Save. Lots of options for sending track user location can be found in the base plugin. Navigate to CM Map Locations Pro – Settings. All needed options are located in the tab User Tracking under the User Tracking section. Enable User Tracking. Choose Yes to turn on the feature. Track and Users. Define how many devices can connect to the API. Zero means there is no limit, which might be dangerous. User Positions Icon URL Write here a URL for the user's position icon. Display Tooltip on Marker If enabled, a tooltip will be displayed on a marker when the user clicks on it. Template for the user track position in for window content Customize the template of a tooltip with information about user track position. You can use HTML and placeholders that you can see on the screen. User path line type. Choose between no line, just the points will show on map, solid line or dashed line. Line color will be applied to the user track if either solid line or dashed line was selected above. Only show last position. If enabled, only shows the user last position. If disabled, shows all positions. Let's keep this option disabled so we could create a route on the map when we send a few positions. Time of last reported tracks. Set time of last x hours and minutes. If set to zero, it means show always. Have a note that it will work if above setting is disabled. Time zone. Choose the time zone. Time format. Choose between 12 or 24 hours formats. Display user track position on index page map. Shows locations in the map on the index page. Display label background color filter on index page. Enable it to allow users to filter user track position by label background color on index page. This option works only if previous option is enabled. Display time filter on index page. Enable it to allow users to filter user track position by time on index page. This option works only if the option display user track position on index page map is enabled. Display Identifier filter on index page. If enabled, the user will be able to filter user track position by identifier on index page on the front end. Reset user tracking table. Click it to delete all user tracking entries from the table. When you finish configuring the plugin, click the button Save. Now it's time to add the button to the site. 
It's simple. Apply the shortcode CM user allocation. The shortcode has the following parameters. API API key Server Server address, which runs the API key Identifier You can pass your custom identifier. In case if this parameter is empty or not added to the shortcode, then the system will generate it automatically. Name enabled Name field Set 1 to show or 0 to hide Name Name field default text Description enable Description field Set 1 to show or 0 to hide Description Description field default text BG color User marker label background color You can add it with or without the hashtag symbol BG color label User marker label background color text you can add any text like red, green, blue, and this is used in the filter. Button text. Submit button text. If not defined, then it will be taken from plugin settings labels section. User location. Set 1 for post user track user location or 0 for post temporary location. Default value is 1. Let lawn enable. Displays latitude and longitude fields. Set 1 to show or 0 to hide. Latitude Latitude field default value Longitude Longitude field default value Drawing Displays polygon draw tool on the map Set 1 to show or 0 to hide Default value is 0 Current location Displays current location button Set 1 to show or 0 to hide Default value is 0 So let's add the button to the page using the shortcode that you can see on the screen there will be fields for name and description with default text that are editable and the button for sending track user allocation with text push me. Now it's time to take a smartphone and go for a walk to test our application and check how it works. When you are ready to send the coordinates of first location, you can edit name or description. When you tap on the button, you will see a message location successfully submitted. Let's check this location on the map. When you send a few locations with the same username, these locations will be connected with the LAN, so you can see a route. Track user locations can disappear after some time if you enable that possibility in plugin options. If you don't reset tables with stored locations, it is possible to check all these locations for past days using get parameters from date and to date. Date format is day, month, year. To add get parameter to the URL, we should put a question symbol, and to use more than one get parameter, we need to add the symbol ampersand before each additional get parameter. For example, we want to check all temporary locations for some specific period of time. So after adding get parameters, the link should look like in the example on the screen. You can add some links to your page with predefined get parameters to let users have a quick access to the locations for certain days. And user can look for other days just by changing the date parameters in the URL. Following instructions found in the plugin and guides, you should be able to configure tracking user location trails and routes on the map. Thanks for watching the video.